Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and it's that time of the year again to do the everyday carry thing. About once a year, I just like to update this to see what I'm currently carrying now because, you know, if you're anything like me, your everyday carry thing is going to shift from time to time and place to place. So this is currently my system. It's the best one I found yet. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this iteration. I don't foresee a lot of changes, but hey, you know, that can always come. And uh, this is what I got. I hope it gives you some ideas. First thing first, uh, I do carry a Glock 19. Uh, I have an RMR on there. It's a TLR 5 by Streamlight. And uh, I did put an Apex trigger in here. Honestly, not super impressed with the Apex trigger. I don't think it's worth it if you got a Gen 4 or 5, uh, but that's just me. And this is in a Philister GL TLR 7 holster. I've uh, been rocking this holster for a while and I enjoy it. I might switch to maybe go back to the T-Rex arms deal, but by and large, I like this holster. Side note, there's a lot of things now where I see like on Twitter or whatever, people carrying these little tiny pocket guns and the PL365 XL and whatever. I don't have any time for that. You're a man, carry a real gun like a man. Extra Glock 17 magazine. Uh, I have the Federal HST 146 grain uh, hollow points if that's something you're into. Uh, this is just a Glock uh, pouch. This is actually by uh, Bravo Concealment. I don't think they make this anymore, uh, but this is a really nice Kydex pouch. I really like that thing a lot. That all rides on the Magpul El Tejas belt. I've had this thing for like, I don't know, four or five years now. It's been a great belt. Love it. Some other things that I'm carrying, right? Uh, this is the Streamlight ProTac 2LX. Uh, I like this light. It's been very helpful. Um, would recommend that light. Gone through the wash multiple times, still survived. This is the Streamlight MicroStream USB light. And I use this just for little task lighting. This is my defensive light, right? So I don't really ever use that um, unless I had to to save my life or I need to like see something at night because I'm walking out to my car and I'm afraid of what's in that corner or whatever, something like that. Uh, this one is just everyday task stuff, right? It, I just drop something and it's dark, I can't find it or I need to find my keys because I just dropped them in the snow or whatever. This is just everyday task stuff to protect this light so that it has battery when it needs it. Really like this light. You could buy like six of these. They'll always serve you well. I happen to have a pen in here. These are my favorite pens, actually. This is the Papermate Inkjoy Gel 0.07. Really like that pen. You should get one. Uh, I am lock rocking a Leatherman Wingman. Uh, been having that for a couple years. Big fan of that. I will say the clip on this isn't that great. Um, so I just stuff it all in my pocket. I don't utilize the clip. Every time I've sat in like a deep chair and I had this in my pocket, it's, it's slipped out, um, so I don't do that anymore. I just let it ride in my pocket, but it works. This is the Blackhawk Be Warned. Uh, this is kind of my defensive blade. I would probably at some point shift to a straight or a fixed blade and not a folder, but I'm still figuring that out. I'm not a knife guy in general, uh, but I do carry this folder blade and I uh, never had to use it for anything, but it's super sharp, so that's nice. I carry my wallet and my phone uh, for whatever it's worth. I do, because I'm a cool gun guy, I guess. I do have the Magpul wallet. Uh, they make it out of this, I don't know what this is, uh, material, but I really like this wallet. It's actually really skinny. I'm a big fan of skinny wallets. That's just me, you do you. Last, but certainly not least, is my med setup. So this is probably the biggest thing that's changed between this video and last video. So I carry the ratchet tourniquet, and the reason I carry this one and not a cat or anything else is because this one folds the flattest and I can ride it in my front pocket out of any other tourniquet that I've tried. So that's why this one ends up winning. Uh, I really like it for that reason. It's got this buckle, which is kind of obnoxious, but I usually put this in towards the top, right? So I put it in my pocket like that and the buckle seems to uh, not interfere. So I'm a big fan of this tourniquet because of how skinny and flat I can fold it in general, and it rides my pocket the most comfortable. Unlike a cat that's then gonna have all that rough Velcro and it's gonna get scratchy and whatever, this doesn't have any of that and I really like it. So this is the Ratchet uh, R2 tourniquet, I believe is what this is called, let me check. Yeah, this is the, it's, I think it's the R2 or Ratchet tourniquet. Um, it's got the website on here, m2inc.biz. Uh, so you can go check that out if that is something that interests you. 
And then what I've gone to for a med kit is this Dark Angel Pocket Med Kit. Now, this is not a full size IFAC, but it is convenient because it fits in your pocket pretty well. So it just has this little case here, which is just kind of a protective case. And then in here is this vacuum sealed med kit. And in here you have a one quick clot uh, dressing, a four inch roll dressing, uh, a pair of hyperfin, uh, a pair of hyphen compact vented seals, like chest seals, a main compression, a mini compression bandage and gloves. So you don't have like a nasal pharyngeal airway uh, or a chest decompression, you know, like it's not a full IFAC, but it's enough to be able to stop bleeding and seal the box, right? Your chest cavity. Uh, so I have been a big fan of that. And I would recommend this to you because again, it's one of the best ones that I've been able to find that actually fits in my pocket and I'm actually gonna carry. I've tried carrying other med kits. Uh, I really don't want anything around my ankle. And so this is kind of the one that I've landed on and it rides in my front pocket pretty comfortably. Now I'll be honest, when I'm home and I'm, you know, when I leave my house, this goes with me. When I'm home, sometimes this just stays in my dresser and just in the tourniquet, it makes it in my pocket because I don't wanna be carrying a bunch of stuff if I'm just gonna be sitting in my house. So you gotta decide for you, but I will say this is probably my biggest change. This is probably the thing that I have enjoyed the most in the past, I don't know, four or five months since I've started carrying this and I don't plan to stop anytime soon. Hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you some ideas. Do brave deeds and endure.